The availability of drugs in prisons has increased significantly in the last decade. Traditionally, manual searches have been used in an attempt to find drugs that are being smuggled in. But now, body scanning technologies such as OD Security's SOTA RS scanner is proven to have better detection rates. Harry Horton visited Wood County Justice Center in Ohio, USA to find out what difference this is making. Ohio finds itself at the center of America's opioid drug crisis. Last year, more than 4,000 people died from opioid overdoses in the Midwestern state. And the impact of what President Trump has called a national emergency has been far-reaching, including behind bars. Jails have become the detox facilities instead of hospitals. So we're getting people that uh, have opioids in their system, they're addicted, and certainly they're going to do whatever it takes to try to get some of that, uh, some of that hair on or opiates into our facility. The problem of opioids and drug smuggling in prisons is getting worse, especially in Ohio. Here at Wood County Justice Center, they've been using state-of-the-art body scanners for the past year to try and tackle the crisis. Lieutenant Rebecca McGonagall and her team have been using the SOTA RS body scanner for the past 12 months, and they've agreed to show us how it works. Almost every inmate who comes into the jail will take part in a full body scan. All right, I want you to stand like that. I'm going to get you plugged into the system. The whole process takes a short time, and the scanner poses no health risk to either the operator or inmate. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Yes. So in this image is an image of a female, and uh, she has a, a blade concealed in her anal cavity. Immediately after the scan, staff at the jail view images of the inmate in different ways in order to detect any item that might be smuggled behind bars. Despite the recent installation, Lieutenant McGonagall says the scanner has already had an impact and her staff feel more confident carrying out searches. I've noticed that it's also used as a deterrent. We've had it for a year now, so we've had the reputation of having the body scanner. So we'll have a lot of inmates come in and um, tell us up front that they have contraband and uh, will give it up willingly before they're even scanned. The flexibility of the scanner means it can be tailored to tackle the unique problems facing a particular region. We can offer a jail environment, a specific setting that we know would detect all the contraband, um, potential contraband risks that they typically find in a jail. Jails like the one here in Wood County see a high turnover of inmates, which can make it harder to keep out drugs. For the county sheriff, keeping out opioids is a modern problem that needs modern tools. My job as sheriff is to make sure that I have a clean, safe, healthy jail, and the scanner helps us have that clean, safe, healthy jail. Blocking the flow of drugs into jails is just one way Ohio is dealing with an opioid epidemic threatening not just the state, but the country as well.